So when the Tupac comes down, we know how to will ourselves. The advanced masters knows how to will ourselves into existence for our purpose. So that particular yogi, and there's a lot of books like that, Sri Ramakrishna, and they also tell you when you're about to go out. Mm -hmm. Sri Ramakrishna told that to Vivekananda, which was one of his students. Okay. Master Vivekananda. He told Vivekananda, you're going to die on this day and that day, and you're just going to you're just going to ascend. They're not going to be able to tell what happened. Sure enough, and, and exactly that. Just ascended. Hmm. And then he started explaining, there's another word they use, but it's synonymous with avatar. The same way, and I can't for the life of me remember this word, that they call these people that they, they don't never, their soul doesn't ascend into the body. That basically their energy is in there, but their soul is in it. And they should. Huh? Bodhisattva. Well, no. That's the Bodhisattvas. Mm -hmm. The Bodhisattvas are a different thing. The Bodhisattvas is just pretty much a, a kind of a monk that ascends so vast that they're about to get absorbed by the universe, but by compassion, they turn around for mankind to serve mankind. Mm -hmm. So they become Kuan Yin based upon compassion. That's like another mythology. No, they, uh, the, um, what was we talking about just now? You're talking about, um, how he predicted his own oh, sin. No, uh, Vivekananda and them, they predicted his, uh, 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 ascension and he left. So now, what they talked about, which is like Avatar, if you remember in the movie Avatar, he, he was, he, he had his human body, but he was able to transform his consciousness into this blue thing. Mm -hmm. Then, so they did a ritual where they pulled his soul also in the blue thing, as opposed to this thing he was doing. So they're trying to show you to just to animate the human body, your soul may not be in here. My soul is not in my body. Hmm. Because I've been through this game a lot. That's why I can come and retain so much consciousness. So when I came, I said I knew to project my consciousness or a aspect of my consciousness to do the work as panic. Hmm. But when I die, I don't have the chore of trying to relieve my soul from the cycle of time and hmm. from the earth. A lot of, I'm not going to say most, a lot of conscious people are not down here. They're doing the work. Mm -hmm. They're adept who came down here. And their souls are not down. And they talk about this in a lot of the Hindu traditions. Some of these masters come down here. Some of these advanced people come down here. The soul is not in the body. So mm -hmm. there's ascension and descension. And they're just getting in and out on when the gateway is open. Mm -hmm. And they were able to map, map these gateways mm -hmm. based upon uh, the stars. So, and then... I really got that affirmation when C. Freeman L. made the transition and I made contact with him. And he started talking about we're avatars. Bobby Henry used to always talk about wherever he went, whatever lecture, he can go outside, he would challenge people. Let's go outside now. I'll show you a light that always follows me. There it is right there. there, there he would, the whole lecture would walk outside. So when I was telling this transmission I got from C. Freeman L. to Bobby, he said, that light that always follows me. He said, that's actually me. It's actually me overseeing my avatar as I do Bobby Hammond work. Hmm. I say, it makes sense. You never really descended because we're all stars. Hmm. Every man is either a star in the making or, or a fallen star. Hmm. And that means your soul fell. There's a movie called um, Star Something. I can't remember these movies today for the life of me. Robert De Niro, a couple of white boys, is about this fallen, fallen star. And then the adventures of that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and her consciousness as she came into a human body as a star. Okay. And I can't remember, it's, it was a good movie, but Robert De Niro was gay in the movie, just threw it all off. Funny, he was being funny, but... So, as a, uh, 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 so as an avatar, not really fallen. So we knew how to come in and go. Now, on a lesser level, we also knew how to do the tantric thing. And as men, we knew how to program the, the, uh, the sperm. Because the sperm is brain fluid. It is the same cerebral fluid that travels up and down the spine to the testicles. 
So most of what it is is falling to the every guy because all of our energy is in the nuts and balls. Who we trying to fuck? Who we trying to bend over? How fat the ass is? But the adept who wasn't in the beast level knew how to rise the sexual energy up back here in the pineal gland area and program it. Mm-hmm. And then release it, not out of act of lust, but an act of love as the vehicle and uh, uh, with purpose in the tantric. And then produce the type of kid you want. Maybe not the level of a Tupac, that advanced level, right. on the shit, mm-hmm. but on the level of we knew how to make artists, we knew how to make musicians, mm-hmm. we knew how to make writers. We knew how to make speakers and all the things that can help society or contribute to society in some sort of way instead of just a nigga running around here talking about we ballin', you know what I'm saying, doing all of this shit and that's the best it gets, you know what I'm saying, instead of these beast niggas because now what we have is parents who hate each other who have kids. All you got to do is put on Judge Mathis and see that. Divorce court. See, Judge, all I've been trying to do is see my son. You ain't going to see that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or the other way around. Judge, all I want him to do is see his son. I don't know what that my son. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So all these kids, you, you, how, what could they, 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 if they did something good, it's in spite of right. the bullshit, not because of right. it. And this is because that thinking or what you thought is actually being programmed into the child. So at the very least, have baby with somebody you are at least fond of. Right. At least fond of. Right. And if you love, all the more better. You gotta be born out of love. See, I was born out of love. That's the parents I picked. Mm-hmm. I remember my mom's and father's song. I said, yeah, we fucked me, we had you. Well, my pop showed me the, the, the orgasm song. Mm-hmm. And I listened to that shit and be like, it fucks me up every time I can't even listen to the whole song. Billy Stewart. He made, I don't know, sit, it's sitting in the park waiting for that song. But it's that other one. Um, Damana, he, he makes these wild songs. You know, and the motherfucker is the exact twin of Bobby Hammett. Oh, wow. <laughs> to the point where I've done memes with that shit. Hmm. Like Bobby Hammett says, you know what I mean? You niggas on Facebook are stoop, pata, id. <laughs> niggas like to break down words. <laughs> stoop, right. pata, id. With this guy, what's his name? Billy Stewart or some shit. When you hear, it's, it's old school, you hear, I can't even listen to them shit, them fucking songs. Hmm. That's how probably my pop said, nah, that was, that was the shit we was fucking to. We had you. So, all that shit matters. You know what I'm saying? All that shit matters. And, so on the lesser level, we knew how to bring forth people who would contribute based upon programming the sperm. When we lost that ability as a group, and really you don't really lose it in the context, we lose it because we have to devolve to evolve, to, to, we have to germinate to become something new. So after we were this treaty called black man and black woman, we said, okay, we need to become something new. So the seeds from all of that learning, when you plant any seed, it becomes a germ. It, 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 it decays first, then it grows new life. So we're at the end of the decay period for us, for something new. But see, what you got is a whole bunch of black people trying to become the same tree that they was. Now understanding that they, even though they're becoming the same powerful in the context of the same tree, but they're trying to get back to that actual tree. No, we have now become something new. So you have to factor in what we went into to become something new instead of complaining about it and complaining how you're going to take over and what we need to do. You need to become you again. You don't need to deal with them. You need to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? And the ones that so, so, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Obsessed with dealing with them, let them do it because they'll block while the real scientists start to reveal this shit.